Hey guys, so I'm back from France and it's so good to be home, though I have to admit I'm still a little bit jet lagged. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my fabulous France haul. And this, yes, is only part one. So hubby and I were in Europe for a little bit of a work trip and also celebrating our wedding anniversary. So it was just such a fabulous trip. So for those of you that have come over from my vlogs, you would have seen in those vlogs that yes, I absolutely did some shopping. If you haven't seen them, I will link them above and in the description bar below. If you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to join the fam. And all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so you can join my family. We are getting there guys. I'm getting so excited. Do you know if just about 10,000 of you just told one friend, we would almost be at 200K because at 200K, Absolutely, I've already bought it as one of the prizes I am going to be giving away a rare Louis Vuitton Nano Speedies. So do hit that subscribe button because as soon as we hit that, we're going to celebrate. But anyway, let's get right into the unboxing and let's start off with some Hermes. So the first two items I want to show you are actually items I picked up from Melbourne, but I wanted to include in this vlog because it was like the day before I left for Europe. So I thought might as well include it. And let's start off what's in this box. You guys, you, you already know what this is. It's going to come at no surprise because I'm so predictable. And yes, it is. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, a Rodeo. This is in the PM size. It's in a new color called Craft. So I love this new neutral color. It's quite hard to get these neutral little horsies. This retails in Australia for $665. Secondly, from the Melbourne store, I picked this up and I was waiting for this to come in. And when I unbox it, you will know why. This beautiful, intricate, colorful silk scarf. Let me show you. you see guys? So this is called the Cosmographia scarf and it's in the turquoise, juan and rose combo and this was 700 Australian dollars. And I specifically wanted this design because as you guys know, earlier this year, I bought the Anamopolis scarf, which is also from the same artist. And I want to hang these two up as a pair. I love this because this is quite cool toned. And then my Anamopolis one, which I'll put a picture up here, is quite warm toned. And I just think together they're going to be so impactful. That is the reason why I purchased this scarf. Next up is an item that actually arrived whilst I was in Europe and I'm really excited about this because I've kind of known about it for the last couple of months and I was really excited for it to come and for me to try it out. So no, this is not a true unboxing because the minute I got home, I've actually been using it and it comes in this bag here to reveal this color and it is the Senrev Midi Maestro bag. Now I don't own anything in this size and you're probably asking why are you so excited Mel? It's because it's the new version that has got the mixed suede and leather combination. Now full disclosure because you guys know that I do work with Senrev so they did gift me this bag but for my longtime subbies you guys also know that I've had like my mini maestra for a year and a bit and I tested this out for like three months before I even revealed it to you guys. So I have tried and tested their product. I even did a video where I really put them to the test, like spilt water on them, like bumped into them. If you're interested in that in-depth review, I will link it above. I know a lot of you have been like, mm, Mel, you're just saying it because you were gifted the bag. And that's because why I want to do that in-depth review and those series of tests so that, you know what, you can make up your mind whether you want to try the bag or not. My one is in the colored ice in the pebbled leather and I just love it. It comes in other colors too, like black and sand and some other colors in all the three different sizes, but I really wanted to try the midi because I don't own one. So if you look at the size difference, it is bigger, but it's not huge. 
It's really hard to do, I think, anyway, in my opinion, suede and leather really well together, really elegantly, and I think they've done a fabulous job. And for those of you that haven't heard about Senrev, all their bags are handcrafted in Italy. It is 100% Italian pebbled leather. In my opinion, I really do think the craftsmanship is excellent. And that's also coming from someone um, that's been a handbag buyer. So let me quickly show you the inside. I'm not going to do a what fits in or anything like that, but inside it has this beautiful pale blue micro suede lining, which is also stain resistant. So I just love the structure of the bags. I love the versatility of the bags. The founders really thought about everything when they created this bag. They were, it was created by two women actually. So I love the functionality of it. This bag can be worn four different ways. So as you can see me trying it on, you can wear it handheld, which I personally love. You can wear it on the shoulder, obviously because it has the shoulder strap, you can wear it crossbody. And also you can wear it as a backpack. So four ways to wear it. I think this is just a great play on texture. And a lot of you guys asked me as well, a few months ago, I asked Senrev if I can offer any sort of gift for you guys, which I had to push. And that was so popular. And I've had quite a few of you email me to ask Senrev again. So, you know, I will always do that for you. So if you input the code MELGIFT, that will entitle you to a free 100% leather card holder. So this card holder, it's so popular. I think it comes in like 20 different colors. So just to let you know, you spend $300, which is pretty much any bag. If you add any bag to your cart. So I'm on the Senrev website and I want to show you something that I just discovered. So for example, if you want to try out one of their bags and you just want to try their normal leathers, first of all, let's just add this one in the color ice to cart. And for my exclusive gift code, if you go to the card wallet, this is the item that you get for free if you spend over 300 USD. So just say I want to add something fun, I'll add that to cart. So that's in the cart. Now, they have a special offer going on at the moment where in celebration of their cart folio launch, which is one of their card holders, they've got special gift cards. So for example, if we go back into our cart, you can select your free gift. So our total, as you can see here, is 810. And if you spend 500, you can select, you know, three gift cards. How good is this? So just say I want the Senrev one, I want a jewelry one, and I want, you know, this one here. You can, there's lots to choose from, so you add that to cart. Now, get this, guys. So if you go to checkout to the gift card or discount code, this is where you enter Mel gift. My code actually works with this promo as well. So now you can see that the total has come down to 695. So you get $115 USD free card wallet and $150 worth of free gift cards. How amazing is that? I think that's just the perfect opportunity to try their bags out. So I had to share that with you because I thought Mel gift was already great in itself. And Senrev got this gift card offer for the next few days. Okay, so what's next? Let's move to this little guy. So these purchases were from Chanel in Nice. And let me show you what I picked up. It is, I don't even know the exact name. And I haven't seen this in the Australian stores before, but it is this card holder. But what I really like about this one here is that it's got this little sort of CC charm bit and it's actually like, a, it's got like a lanyard, I guess. And I don't know, I just really liked it. Actually, I was thinking it could be good for work because if you've got all your swipey cards and things like that in there, it could be quite useful. So that is the reason why I picked this up. And let me share the price. It was 690 euros. So this card holder is in lambskin leather. So the hand feel is beautiful and it does come with an authenticity card and it's a 28 series. So since we are on Chanel, I might as well reveal what's in this big box here. And let me show you what I got. So all these things, guys, I actually did wrap up again for you. And let me share all that in a second because I do get asked questions on that. But in this box here, 
I picked up these grey suede ankle boots. They're actually in two tones. So if you look at them here, it's grey suede. It's got a toe cap with the CC Chanel logo there. And also on the heel, which is sort of like in a cone shape, that is both these parts are in satin. And these are really comfortable. It's a really good heel height because it is like a block heel. And you guys know I love a toe cap. I love Chanel shoes. I've actually worn these in Europe already, uh, as you can see. But I love them. I haven't seen them in Australia before, though we may have had them. But uh, when I visited other Chanel stores, I didn't see it. So I'm glad I picked them up when I did. And in terms of price, this was 1,150 euros. Now, on the topic when I was talking about the boxes, a lot of you guys asked me, oh, Mel, how do you pack everything? Just really quickly, what we did was towards the end of the trip, when I had a few more boxes, I actually sent my boxes back. All I did was just you know, put box within box and sort of had to play a little bit of a Tetris game and then fit as many boxes as I could and any paper bags I wanted to keep and then sent them home. And all the luxury items I actually hand carried. So both hubby and I had a cabin sized wheelie suitcase and then I also had, you know, my on the go tote. So I just wanted to explain that. So next up is a couple of items from Longchamp. For those of you that have seen the vlog, you would have seen that I was really pleasantly surprised with the new bag offering that Longchamp had. Let's start off with this one because it's a no-brainer. And in this tissue paper is, and this is the Le Pliage. So it comes like this because this is, I've already owned a couple of these, but I love this new color. So let me just open it up for you. This is their famous Le Pliage tote it does come in different sizes i believe this is one of the most popular size i think it's the medium i'm not 100 percent sure but this only costs 95 euros and i really like this because i really love this nudie sort of it's got an undertone of pink but you can see that they've got the you know the little horsey here in black and i just really like that contrast they hold up so well they're a great travel bag and as you can see they fold up so small so for any of you that haven't tried this bag, you need to get yourself one. I own one in black, gray, and then now this gorgeous color. And I also did pick up one other thing from Longchamp and it's in this cute little box here, wrapped up beautifully. And it is in this little dust bag to reveal. Dun -dun! A baby version of the Le Pliage bag, except this version is in leather. So you can't fold this version up, but I thought it was just too adorable. How cute is it? It comes with this beautiful light sort of champagne gold hardware. And if you open it up, let me just take it out. Inside, it's got all textile lining and it's all got Longchamp in the Longchamp monogram. Um, all inside with a couple of pockets, a zip pocket. Yeah, I just thought this was so, so cute. And I actually picked up in here, I did purchase their chain because one, I really liked the weight of this chain and two, this chain, it might've been quite difficult to match because this is a very specific light champagne gold. So here we go. I've attached it on here for you. And as you can see me trying it on, it looks adorable handheld and it looks equally adorable, you know, uh, crossbody as well. And even though it looks so tiny, it does fit a bigger sized iPhone. I always, when I am purchasing a bag, take the things out of my bag and try it. I always recommend you doing that just as a little tip because yeah, you want your bag, even though it's cute to be functional as well. So this bag here was 290 euros, which I think is pretty good for a leather bag. Actually the chain, when I look at the receipt now, was a little bit more expensive. It was 70 euros, but I like the chain detail. It's not just like a plain chain. It's sort of like double chained. I'll show a close up. So that is the second item that I purchased from Longchamp. Next up, I want to show you the pieces that I picked up from Le Dressing. And Le Dressing is a pre-loved slash vintage designer store in Monaco. 
You would have seen from my last vlog, I showed so much eye candy. I seriously could have been there all day. And in the vlog, I only showed two boutiques, but they actually have three boutiques there. They're like an institution in Monaco, though a lot of people don't know about them. A few of you wrote to me and said, I've been to Monaco a couple of times and I've never known about them. So I'm happy to share. And they also are online as well. They have, in my opinion, the best ready to wear collection, especially from Chanel, but it's not just Chanel. They had like Chanel, Hermes, Balmain, Louis Vuitton, Prada, like just so many brands. So Le Dressing have actually been around for like 20 plus years, but even if they've been around for 20 plus years, you know, I was asking the manager, I go, where do you get all your stock from? And he was saying that it's carefully selected, it's all authenticated, and it's from some of the most exclusive closets on the French Riviera. He was saying like they get stock like daily. And if I was living in Monaco, I would be like visiting that store really, really often. For the first piece that I got is from Dior. And it is this gorgeous strapless dress. I actually saw this dress, I, I think it was from two or three years ago and I loved it. But the price tag, I think in Australian dollars was around like 4,000 plus. You can tell it's so well made. Actually inside it's all got I don't even know all the clothing terms, but it's like an extra sort of like bustier sort of bit here. The material is so thick. It is like supposed to be a bit more exaggerated at the hip. It just fits really, really well. This was priced at 698 euros. So that is like a fraction of the cost of what it was at retail and it's barely been worn. I think it was only worn a handful of times. So I thought I scored a bargain. So a few of you already commented on my last vlog saying, oh my gosh, Mel, I need to check out this store. So I have been talking to the manager of the store, by the way, his name is Davey. And if any of you go to Monaco, and you mention Mel in Melbourne, you guys will get 10% off everything in store except for Hermes bags. And I asked him, come on, can you do something for Hermes bags as well? And he said, okay. So if you did want to purchase a pre-loved Birkin or Kelly or any of their Hermes bags, you also get 5% off. I was actually really pleasantly surprised how well their bags are priced. Everyone knows with Hermes bags that, you know, there is a premium on them. So I often see them selling for way, way over retail, like thousands and thousands over retail. But in his store, there there were ones that were priced very very close to retail and some of them a little bit more and some of them even a little bit less so i think that's such a good deal and i do have a story to tell you talking about hermes about the whole system of paris that is going to come in a different video and for those of you that are visiting Paris, you've got to go to the French Riviera, not even just for the shopping. You saw the sights, you saw the food. It is amazing. But for those of you that were interested in an Hermes bag, this store has such a great selection. And as I said, it's all authenticated and there is nothing wrong with buying pre-love. You guys know I'm a huge believer in pre-love. I buy pre-love, I buy vintage, and I was just so impressed. So of course I had to get that code for you and it doesn't just apply if you go there. They do have an online store. There's not as much stock online. Obviously at the store they get stock daily, but if you input Mel in Melbourne, you get 10% off everything on the website. And for any Hermes bags that are on the website, if you put in, I love Hermes, you get 5% off. Everything I will leave down in the description bar below. And no guys, I don't get you know any commission or anything from this. I just wanted to hook you guys up because you guys know I love you. And whenever I can get any discount codes, whether it is for pre-loved, whether it's for the Send Rev bags, whether it's free gifts or anything, I will do it. I will ask. I have no shame because who doesn't love a discount? So yeah, that's really exciting. So yeah, do browse away. And on the topic of dresses, you guys were 100% right. So many of you commented on my last vlog. I hope you picked this dress. I hope you picked this dress. And of course I had to. And I'm talking about this beautiful white or cream off-white Chanel vintage dress. I actually don't know when it's from. I think he was saying to me, it's like uh, definitely over 25 years old. And 
it just it fits me perfectly and I love it you can't go wrong with a white dress and just the, all the little details like on here you can see there's like these uh, little CC and then it's got a little star and yeah I just really love it I definitely can see myself wearing this for many many years so this dress was priced at 950 euros and next up is this cardigan and it is in, I'm not even sure 100% what the fabric is. It's sort of like a terry material, like terry towel, not like a towel though. But it's really soft. It's really thick. I haven't worn it yet because I do want to take it to, you know, my tailor to fix up the shoulder pads. And do you guys know this uh, cardigan is actually from... 1995 so we're talking about a 24 year old cardigan and can you see with Chanel it's just so classic I've always wanted a cardigan that's thicker that you can double up as a jacket and so this one retailed at 850 euros and the last thing that I picked up which I actually didn't show in the vlog but I love is this jacket here it is a gray jacket uh, and it is from 2006. So it's not as old, but we're still talking about a 13 year old jacket and it is thick. What I love about this is that it does have a little bit of a vintage vibe to it. If you look at it here, which I will try on, it actually flares out and I just think that is just so elegant. It sort of reminds me of the coats from the 50s or I think it was sort of like that 50s era. And yeah, the sleeves are slightly, they're sort of like three quarters and I just love the fit. I just love everything about it. So this retailed at 1,590 euros. And as you know, that is just so much less because I think retail Chanel jackets, I know in Australia anyway, they start from about $7,000, seven, 8,000 and something like this would definitely be more. So for all of these, Davy did give me mates race, which always helps. But as I said to you, if you were interested in anything online or even if you go to Monaco, it doesn't even have to be this year. I said, is it open? What about if they go next year? Can they still get it? They said, yep, Mel, that's fine. They just have to quote Mel in Melbourne and that's it and you get the discount. So for those of you that do visit Monaco and you do get anything from the store, do let me know. I love hearing about your purchases as well. Okay, so next is something in this Lacoste bag. It's something we picked up for Hubby, which you would have seen in the vlog. But just very, very quickly, yes, he did end up getting what he modeled, which is this Lacoste jumper in red. And even though we do have Lacoste stores here, the thing about Australia is that we just don't have the as much variety as Europe or a different range. So we hadn't seen it. L Hubby loves their polos. It's one of his favorite brands. I would say for Lacoste, it's not that much difference in terms of price. This cost 160 euros. Oh, and another question I got is quickly, I'll just mention about that. So even though there is a 20% uh, VAT refund, after all the fees and what you actually net in your bank account is about 10%. And when you claim your VAT, that's at your last European destination. So for example, even though I bought all this stuff in Nice because our last des destination was Paris, we actually claimed it all in Paris at the airport. So hope that helps. So now let's move on to Hermès. So all these items were picked up in Hermes in Nice. So let me show you what I got. I got a little bit of a story as well. So I don't even know where we should start. Let's start here. So in this box here, I got these suede legend wedges. And I actually own a pair of these in white, which I picked up in Hawaii. I really like them, so I wanted to pick up this tan version, and I love suede. Plus, this color will go with so much. This retails for 650 euros. Next, let's move to this little box. Again, same size box. You're gonna say Mel again, and I'm like, yep, I collect them. And I got another little Rodeo. Here he is. Hello. So this retails for 348 euros. So again, I don't own this color combo. So really glad to add that to the stable. Next is, let's move this over, something in this box here. And I 
This wasn't on my wish list because I thought I had already missed out. In Australia, I totally missed out on this. So I thought it was too late, but they had one lucky last one. And it is in this bag here. It does have a H in front to reveal this cozy wool v-neck H jumper in navy blue and I got it in size 36 and I don't mind because this one is a little bit more oversized so this retails for 800 euros next is something here which I want to show it's pretty heavy oh. And I'm so excited about this because this is something for hubby. And I'm so glad I can show my male viewers this because I think if you want a pair, yes, a pair. So it is shoes, a pair of Hermes shoes. This is so nice. I didn't see it in other Hermes stores too. So, so glad we found it. It is these gorgeous pair of loafers. Hubby is a loafers man. He loves his loafers and this one is so subtle because as you can see, the H buckle is in matte black. It's classic, but it's a little bit different because usually this H is in, you know, silver and I just love the all black look. What do you guys think? And these retail for 830 euros. These also run true to size. Hubby is a 42.5 euro and he got a 42.5 euro. Just so glad we found these for him because, you know, when he tried them on, it was so cute. He was like, oh, I actually really like these. And I'm like, we got to get them. So got these for him. Okay, so I told you there was a little bit of a story. So, of course, as I was purchasing and guys, different stores in France operate differently. You guys would have known my whole how to score Birkin and Kelly in Paris. It's only in Paris that has that appointment system where you have to apply online. I'm going to do a separate video, an updated video with tips because there's certain things that you guys may not know that I want to update you on. But anyway, in different parts of France, it doesn't operate that way. There's no appointment system. Sometimes it's luck. You go in, you can ask. Some stores you can get things, some stores you can't. I've heard varying stories. And of course I asked. I asked, you know, at the start, you know, do you have any stock? And for those of you that weren't aware, August is the month that all the artisans go and leave. So they have very, from what I'm told, they have much less stock sort of like in September. Who knows if that is the entire truth, but that's what I've been told repeatedly. Anyway, I did ask, you know, did you have any Kellys or Birkins or even a Constance? I think they knew that I was, you know, I did love the brand. I was a pretty serious buyer because there were a few things that I wanted. So after I had said, yep, I want to get those things that I just showed you, they actually said, you know, Madame, can you come with me? So then they bring me to the change room. And by the way, guys, I had said earlier, you know, I, I want these things. They had said nothing. They didn't say they had them or anything. And then in the change room, they presented me, they actually showed me, I think like a 24 bag, which I put a picture here. And I really wasn't after that. And then they said, were you looking for a Constance? Because I did say a Constance. And they showed me this gorgeous Constance. It was a size 24. It was in vert vertigo with gold hardware. It was gorgeous, but it just, it wasn't what I had asked for. I did actually politely turn them down. So I think all the stores vary. I think if they know sometimes if you were purchasing a few things, maybe they might present it to you. I'm not 100% sure, but I wanted to share my story. And I did say to them, you know, I am in Nice for a few more days. If there is anything um, I can pop by on my last day, you know, I'm looking more for a Birkin or Kelly or even a smaller size Constance. So I left that day and then basically on the last day, um, I got a call from the manager in that store to come in. And she said, we got, we got one thing in that day. Let me show you what I got. So let me show you. And it comes in this box here. It was one of the things I did request. And let me just show it to you first. Dun, 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 dun. 
Yes, a uh, mini Constance. Now, for those of you that may know my collection, you might think, does this look similar to anything that I own? And the answer is yes. This color I absolutely love and I immediately loved it and it is in Rose Extreme. And I have this combination in my Mini Kelly and I love, absolutely love this color. And I was like, oh, should I get it? Should I not? I usually don't, you know, double up in colors. And I was talking to my sister. My sister was like, get it, I want it. So I'm like, okay, you know, I Mini Constances aren't the easiest to get as well. So she said she wanted it. So I ended up buying it and I'm wrapped for her. But when I got back, my sister actually got another offer. So now I'm like, what do I do with this? Should I keep it? Should I not? What do you guys think? I love my Rose Sakura version of this. So I am in two minds. But anyway, if you are really, really interested in this bag, I know how hard these are to get, especially in pink. Pink is like really popular. Um, email me at askmelinmelbourne at gmail.com. I will leave it on the screen here. I, I'm not going to be selling it at the crazy retailer prices, but yes, it will be over uh, Australian retail. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even sure if I'm going to sell it or not. I'm, I don't know. It's so pretty. So that, that was from uh, the knee store, which I really did not expect to get. The biggest advice is if you get along with your sales associate, don't be afraid to ask. Please don't purchase things just for the sake of it in hopes to be offered. I don't want you guys to be disappointed. But yeah, you just never know with Hermes. And I actually did pick up one more thing, which is in this box here. This is the last thing, guys. I know it's a really long haul. And yeah, I, I told you I went a little bit crazy. This was something that I wanted. And I totally forgot to ask the first day. And it's in this little bag here. And it is one of the Hermes straps. And the reason why I purchased this is because I wanted it to wear it on my Gold Kelly. Now this Gold Kelly is the size 32. I know everyone loves mini bags at the moment, but can I say I use this bag so much and I absolutely love this size. As you can see me wearing it, it is not that huge. Don't get rid of your bigger bags. I do think bigger bags are coming back in. And I wanted this version because I, and I purposely picked the shorter version. This comes in three different strap lengths, 105 centimeters for crossbody. I think it comes in 85, which is the same length as the thinner strap that comes. And this is the shorter one, which I think from memory is about 70 centimeters. You can see it matches so, so well. And I think that this strap I will also be using on my mini Evelyn. I think that will work really well as just a shoulder bag as well because my mini Evelyn, the color is baton, which is this lighter color. So I, or whenever I pick up a strap, I always like for it to match at least two bags. So that is the final item that I picked up. So that is it guys. That is my entire haul part one. There is more coming, but I will be doing another vlog and then maybe the haul after. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do join the family. Please do comment below what was your favorite item from this haul. You guys know I love to read your comments and just thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Have a fabulous day or night and I will catch you very soon in the next one. Bye guys!